hey, and welcome back at cloudbackupping.com, and we're going to continue with our Spider Oak video series here. And in this video, we're going to review the backup process of Spider Oak and see whether everything works flawlessly. And we can already see that it ha it has grabbed successfully our uh, Windows 7 standard folders with uh, data already in it. But for this video, I want to back up a standardized folder I prepared with one gigabyte in files to be able to compare the backup speed among all other backup providers uh, I tested on cloudbackupping.com. And if you're interested in other videos, just check my YouTube channel or cloudbackupping.com and there you see a whole lot of other video reviews on backup speed. And um, we now have to click on the advanced button right now and we get into the advanced view where we can uh, dig deeper into the file system and browse um, the files that we want to back up. And here are my test files. And we can see that there is a storage bar that indi indicates exactly how much we actually use of our quota. And this is what I particularly like if, a, if an online backup client really gives us a good overview of the files we're using and how much quota we've already used and not many backup uh, providers do that pretty well, but I love Spider Oak in that regard. They really give me a good overview of everything that is important. And with a click on save, we can save the folder, save the files, and we initiate the backup automatically. And at the bottom of the screen, you can monitor the activity. What is Spider Oak doing right now? So they are building currently our backup volume and um, to get a better status overview you just click on the status tab at the top left in the online backup client and we get to see even more details so we can monitor exactly how many items are remaining for backup and how long this is going to take and honestly spider oak in my testing was the fastest online backup service so far. It was really blazingly fast with the backup. I was really amazed. I mean, they advertised Spider Oak as being fast, but that it was so fast, well, I was quite happy to see that. But we're going to have a look at the exact time at the end of this video. And while it is backing up, we can have a look, for example, at the queue, the file queue, where you can really monitor which files you have in the queue and that are and, and at what state they are at what percentage they are backed up and let's now quickly have a look at the preferences that you find at the top right of the client so we have here um backup options so we can choose to back up files that are larger than x amount of megabytes or files that are smaller or we can exclude files and we obviously have scheduling options so we can decide whether we want to have an automatic backup. That means that whenever the folder changes, whenever there's, there are files added, it's going to be backing up them automatically. But if you have, if, if your folder doesn't change that frequently, you can just uh, say, okay, I want to just back it up once a day or every, or every Monday at 2 p.m. when I'm at the office. That's enough. So you save system resources and bandwidth, obviously, with that. But I leave that as an automatic um, backup because my bandwidth is okay and my computer is quite fast, so this is not going to affect me much. Okay, so I paused the video until the backup is finished, and as I promised you, I wanted to have a look at the actual backup speed at how fast it actually backed up my one gigabyte of files. And for that, we're going to have a, a look at the log file. So we'll click on log. We can enter um, the detailed log file and see when the files have been backed up. So we started the backup at 4.13 and we ended the backup at 6.55. So that makes 2 hours and 84 minutes. And that is even faster than Mosey or SugarSync. So we have a really fast online backup service here. And if backup speed is one of your concerns, you can definitely count on Spider Oak. So, I hope I could provide you some useful information and I hope I made the decision on what kind of online backup provider to choose a little easier. And if you like this video, please recommend it to your friends and family on Facebook and vote for it on YouTube. You do me a great favor. And in the next video, we're going to explore Spider Oak's syncing and sharing functions. So, don't miss that. We're going to see us in the next video. Bye bye.